Do you ever just watch anime and instantly find love with the characters? Do you ever watch anime and instantly just hate a character or feel sorry for them? A lot of times I just watch anime and I really don't think about these things. But Boji from Ranking the Kings is one that really really stuck with me something about him is just so sad and you can't help but feel sorry for him and want the best for him now for those of you that don't know what ranking of kings is let me give you a quick quick little summary rundown of it ranking of kings came out probably like a year ago from the making this video it's about 24 episodes long as of right now i think and I don't I think the story ends I only watched about halfway to like episode 12 I didn't watch anything after that I started watching something else and then I forgot about it then I started watching something else I forgot about that anime and then it's just like a cycle I get into sometimes and here I am a year later going back to Boji because I've watched just about everything that's coming out right now and to be honest it's such a great anime ranking of kings is such such a great anime it's so fun to watch it's so lighthearted. it's so wholesome it's so like cartoony in a way it has very old school style art but like in you know good high definition not like grainy or anything and it's basically a kingdom where there's a family of royalty two giants it starts with with starts with one giant boss the main villain i guess you could say boji's dad he was a warrior he went around fighting he went around he went around killing people and eventually he has succumbed to weakness and age and maybe illness and he hated that as a warrior so he made a pact with a demon in order to prolong his health his fighting basically to just keep on being a badass is what he wanted i want to keep being a warrior is what he told himself at any cost and the demon was more than happy to help him out very dope art was the demon too i really am a big fan of it creepy as fuck great art and in order to make his goal or his wish come true he needed someone to sacrifice and so he sacrificed his son so he had a son who was another giant and boji was born as a result but he wasn't born as a giant he was born just as a normal small human looking person but he was really a giant descent but because of the sacrifice in the pack his dad there was a demon he lost his hearing he lost his ability to talk he lost his strength to do anything really he was really frail like doing small things was hard he can't even hold a sword up so like he only has like a little pointy sword kind of like uh like a toothpick i forgot what they're called and i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but so basically that happens and because of boji being born into royalty and being that weak he's picked on a lot whether it be by the townspeople or maybe by his older brother and he just lives a very sad life and what makes boji such a lovable character is that despite not having anything not having his hearing his strength not being able to really give too much back to the people he's still so wholesome he's still so happy he still tries his best there's some scenes where it's just so sad of how weak he is but even through his weakness he does what he can no matter how small it is there's a scene like around in episode 17 16 where there's a fire and everybody has big buckets and throwing water at it and he has just a little cup because that's all he can do and he throws it at it and it's just such a sad scene because I feel like most people in his position being hated by everybody with the talent people and everything wouldn't give that much effort to helping out the assholes that made fun of him but boji is just so kind-hearted and just wants to help i guess maybe similar to how his mom was and so that's basically how the story goes he has no friends because nobody wants to i guess hang out with him because of his disabilities his shortcomings you know what i mean until he meets like a little shadow called kage who doesn't care about that type of stuff who kind of had a similar background of a very messed up childhood and so he kind of bombs his boji and then the story begins they go on an adventure they start having fun they kind of have a lot of like crazy shit go on they go to the underworld they meet another king boji starts to grow as a person he starts to become stronger and stronger and finds his way of being strong it's basically like they found through his weakness how to be the strongest his weakness is what made him strong in a way it's really crazy it's, it's, it's a really nice like wholesome story it should just make you you know feel all warm and fuzzy inside no matter what it's it's great i like it and then later on as the story goes on Boji's, you know he comes back from the underworld stronger better he gets trained to fight in his own way that he knows and not basically like he was gifted you know through his weakness and shit and it's basically almost a story of no matter how weak you are, no matter what you're going through, if you just keep on going, I guess maybe stay positive, you might come out on top. And I really like that, you know, not everybody is gifted, not everybody is born with natural talent. Some people, you know, are just 
a little more physically better at things, maybe mentally. But if you keep on trying, it might take you a little longer, but you'll get there. So it's a great story of showing that no matter what, you can do it if you try hard enough. And it's kind of sad because Boji shouldn't have had all those problems with him. It was his dad's greed and just way of being that caused Boji to be so weak in the first place and have all these shortcomings. And I'm not sure where the story is going. I haven't finished it to be honest. By the time you watch this video, I'll probably have already watched it. And hopefully there's a happy ending. I'm not sure how the dad could really be a happy ending at this point. He does die and spoilers here, spoilers for everyone. You know, he dies in the first episode. That's not the spoiler, but later on he ends up coming back through the body of his other son, Data, Ditra, I'm not too sure how you say it. And he takes over his body. So, he's, so basically he sacrifices his other son again, not to, not to basically be immortal in a way. The dad basically doesn't give a fuck about them. He just wants to live his life and be happy with this wizard that he grew up with. And I guess he was indebted to. And it's a whole crazy story. You can't really feel like too bad for the dad. Maybe a little bit, but not really. Compared to the sons who have to, you know, suffer through everything. And there's a lot of that betrayal between families within the show. They're not the only family that had to do crazy shit in order to, like, become stronger or overthrow one another. Like, in the underworld with Despa and... Okay, and they kill their own father. Like I said, it's a lot of spoilers. It's a real trippy anime overall. Really good parts, real wholesome. You would almost look at it and think, man, this animation, this whole storyline, the whole character, it's not gonna be a good anime, but it comes out to being a really, really fun anime to watch. I can't recommend it enough. If you're looking for a good anime to watch, Ranking of Kings is definitely one I recommend wholeheartedly. A lot of times I tell people, you know, give the anime at least three episodes before you quit watching it because I feel like Wrecking of Kings though, you won't really have to do that after the first episode, you'll probably be hooked on it. Just with the first episode, second episode, it's just so much happens, so much good creepy mystery surrounding the whole characters as a whole. I just, yeah, I mean, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Just give you a little rundown of what it's about, how lovable of a character Boji is, how annoying of a character maybe the dad is, how much of a good plot and story this really is. It's a very nice, wholesome one. And that's all I really want to talk about. Well, I hope you guys like this quick little rant of the anime I'm talking about. Ranking of Kings, go watch it. I think it has like an 8 point something rating on my anime list. I could be fucking wrong. I didn't check it. I just would not be surprised if it does. Well, that's all I want to talk about. Peace.